Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how I put in my heated rollers and I also wear my velcro rollers so if you want to see a tutorial on how I do that then just let me know but today I'm going to show you how I put in my heated ones now the heated rollers that I'm going to use are these they're by Style Solutions and they're just a, a really cheap pair of heated rollers nothing fancy so yeah I hope you enjoy this video and we'll start now now before I start the tutorial I'm just going to brush my hair just to make sure that I haven't got any um, lugs in it at all which I have And I find that um, putting in the heated rollers works best in like two or one day old hair. So just to freshen up the root, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray some Batiste um, dry shampoo in flower and flirt it. And I'm just going to concentrate that just on the roots of the hair just to, um, just to sort them out. And if you don't know how dry shampoo works, basically it's just freshens up your hair when you haven't um, washed it maybe in a day or two. So I'm going to do this on two day old hair because I don't find that I need to wash my hair every day. So I'm just going to part it where I naturally part my hair every day. And I'm going to start by sectioning off my hair into halves and then splitting the top section and putting it away just in a grip like that and then the same on the other side so then we have something that looks like this now I do apologize about the lighting it's not the best but I really just wanted to film a video today so I thought let's just do it anyway. So I'm going to concentrate the biggest um, rollers on the bottom and the smallest ones on the top because I want to have um, a kind of wavy bottom and a really curly top. So I have five big rollers all together so I'm going to section my hair off into sections and then so taking the roller I'm going to wrap it round and then just roll it towards and away from the face and then what you want to do is secure it just in place with a grip and then you're going to take the next roller and then just roll it towards your head and you get these little grips like this and you need to push them up so the end is facing upwards otherwise the roll is going to fall out right so that's the all of the bottom section done we have all our rollers in and if you can see the hair is wrapped around the roller and then kept in place by these little clips and then you want to take the top layer out right? being careful not to disturb any of the rollers that you already have in place and just brush it out put you back like that so you're right the way and I find if you work towards from the back of your head towards the front it's a lot easier to put the rollers in so what you want to do is you want to take your medium rollers and you want to section ah oh, this is hot and you want to section your hair off and again you want to be rolling the roller away from your face if you're rolling the roller towards your face you're not going to get a nice look at the end and then you stick the pin in between the hair and the roller and it holds it in place. Now I find if you worry too much about what it's going to look like then they're not going to turn out nice.
and I'll do this one really close to the camera so you can see what you need to do. So you put the roll in place and wrap your hair around and then twist it up and away and then get this clip and wedge it between the hair and the roller. So if you look we have all of the right hand side in and then we'll move on to this side of the hair. And then again for the last one I'll come closer to the camera. So pop your hair around and roll up and towards the back of your face and then get the clip and then just wedge that in between your hair and the roller and that all the rollers are now in place and what you need to do now is let the rollers cool down so what I'll do is I'll come back in about five to ten minutes and then we can carry on the tutorial and I'll show you how to remove them right everyone so I'm back the rollers have completely gone cold now so it's time to take it out so I find it's easiest if you work from the back the furthest point away what you want to do is just take the roller out and then just let it fall out naturally now it's not going to make your hair really really curly but it will add some texture and body to your hair so just wicking our way around removing all of the rollers and I mean it's really easy to do this I mean we whipped up our hair in what a few minutes and then you can what I like to do is just put my hair in the rollers and then just get on eat my breakfast go about my business and um, and then just take them out just before you leave work now I'm going to show you a slight variation of what you can do if you do want a slightly curlier look. So this is what the hair looks like when it is out of the rollers and as you can see it's not particularly curly if I just get closer to the camera so you can see but it has got texture within the hair. Now this is, I would just happily go out like this and, and be fine like this, I mean I think it's a perfectly acceptable look. Um, but what you can do if you do want to jazz it up slightly is just curl it with the curling wand. So what I'll do is I'll just pause you here and then I, if you want to just leave it like this then you can do or keep watching and then I'll show you the slight variation that you can do. So as I said before you can just leave your hair looking like this if you wish so. So just this voluminous um, more jojo style Joji style but if you want to just add a little bit more of a curl to it uh, what you can use is the babyliss waving one and what you want to do is you want to take small sections of your hair like this and just really concentrate it on the front of your face so like you're going to frame your face and you just want to curl the odd few bits of your hair So as I said, just concentrating on the front parts of your hair, just to add a little bit more texture to this look. And you really don't have to try and be neat because the messier you are, the more natural the overall look is going to be. So just find little pieces 
and just wrap them round the curling wand wherever you feel that you need a bit more of the texture. So I just thought I would stand up to show you the rest of the video because the lighting is terrible where I normally film and I just wanted to show you my finished hair. So as you can see it's not curly, it's more voluminous and texturised and I find that this is a really easy look to wear in the daytime or even in the night. I would suggest if you're going for a night look to maybe curl it slightly more with the waving wand. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.